Welcome to Acuity Brands Bright Ideas on Industrial Sage. Today we are going to discuss a bipartisan tax benefit opportunity to write off equipment purchased during a building renovation. I'm joined today by Cheryl English, the Vice President of Public Policy, and Michael Shaw, the Vice President of Tax at Acuity Brands. To start, Cheryl, can you tell us a little bit about the 2020 CARES Act? Of course, the CARES Act is the Coronavirus Aid Relief and Economic Security Act, and it was passed in March of 2020. It was a bipartisan bill, as you mentioned, and the focus on it was primarily to provide aid and relief for workers and small businesses due to the pandemic. In that act, there was an important correction to tax law that was passed in December of 2017 in the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act. And Michael, why don't you describe a little bit about this correction? Sure, Cheryl. Um, QIP allows a tax deduction for 100% of the costs for building renovations uh, on the interior of any commercial non-residential building. And, and keep in mind, Cheryl, that this law was retroactive to 2018 so that any building owners who have improve the interior of their buildings going back to 2018 can file admitted returns and receive tax refunds and that's a tremendous benefit. And can you explain what is QIP exactly? Sure, QIP is Qualified Improvement Property and it's a term of art uh, used by the IRS to define the property that is used in renovations and improvements to interior of commercial buildings. Okay, so the interior is pretty vast. Could you explain um, what actually qualifies Sure. A lot of the, it, it's most everything with a few notable exceptions that I'll, I'll explain in a minute, but a lot of the key items or, or most popular items are interior lighting systems. Mm -hmm. um, many people are upgrading those and with more modern systems. Another popular item is smart building controls. Uh, those are included. Um, and most anything else that has to do with the cosmetics of an interior of a building. So how about those items that are not qualifying for a QIP? Sure. Some of those are specifically called out in the legislation and they include a roofing system, elevators and escalators, HVAC systems. And Michael, there's been a lot of confusion. What about outdoor lighting? Outdoor lighting is not specifically included as QIP property and therefore most tax advisors would say it does not qualify. There are some who believe it's gray area. I would suggest if you're uh, undertaking outdoor lighting improvements that you consult with a tax advisor. And is there anything else a commercial, commercial building owner should think about, consider if they want to take advantage of this tax benefit? Well, Catherine, I think one of the biggest things is don't delay. This is a huge opportunity for renovating buildings and saving energy. And every month that you delay, you're losing that opportunity to reduce your energy use. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right, Cheryl. And specifically, this tax law phases out beginning in 2023, making it more important to act now on any plans for renovation of an interior of a building. And the other thing I would point out is that anyone that's uh, planning on taking on these projects, renovation projects, should consult your tax advisor to make sure you get the most benefit you can out of this new law. Yeah. Overall, it sounds like a, an incredible savings opportunity with this new tax law. Definitely, and the tax advisors can help scope what that real opportunity is. But that's just the start. Really? So how else could they save? <laughs> well, you know, we talked a little bit about the energy reductions. But by doing the lighting renovations with Acuity Brands Lighting and Controls products, you're going to get better quality light, you're going to reduce your maintenance, and get those energy savings. So, Catherine, imagine how many buildings are out there that still have the parabolic three-lamp fluorescent troffers in them. Probably quite by, a bit. <laughs> it is. It's amazing. And just um, replacing those troppers with a Lithonia Lighting BLT low-profile LED luminaire mm -hmm can save 60% in energy. Then if you add in end light sensors to those fixtures for occupancy sensing, the energy savings will go up to 75%. And then if the building has daylight integration, you can add daylight harvesting, and those energy savings would typically be about 83%. So you're gonna see anywhere from 60 to 83%. You're going to have better quality lighting for the workers. You're going to reduce the maintenance. It's really a win-win opportunity. But again, consult the tax professional to understand the full scope. Right. Well, thank you both. This is some really invaluable information. Appreciate your time today. Please join us for our next episode. We are going to dive into ultraviolet lighting and its use in disinfection.